Night waters of the Southwest Pacific, enemy waters, sea roads for the passage of Japanese armaments going south to smash U.S. troops fighting for island beaches. Domain of the escort destroyer, guarding convoys of anti-aircraft, machine guns, concrete for pillboxes. Then, one night, suddenly, mysteriously, two ships were wiped out of a convoy. One ship left burning. One sunk. This was only the beginning. In one month, 41,000 tons of Jap cargo vessels were sunk. 43,000 damaged. Next month, 13 ships attacked, six damaged, seven sunk. News of the losses leak out. Radio Tokyo invents alibis. New American super planes reported in the Pacific, surpassing anything known in speed and maneuverability. Reverberations in the Japanese high command. New detachments of night fighters called up. Jap fleet adjustments made. More destroyers, cruisers for convoy escort. The attacker was an unidentified American plane hitting at night. They bombed the destroyers, light cruisers, heavy cruisers. What is this super plane? Anything familiar? That torso with a middle-aged sag? Her speed less than some cars can do. Maneuverable? Some days all right. On others, she brings around like a 10-ton truck. She dives under protest. Wings can't handle half the pressure dive bombers take. Got her? Right. The old cat, Navy Catalina patrol boat, PBY in a black nightgown for night camouflage. A black cat. She hides by day in one of the secret U.S. Navy cat bases, which the enemy would love to know about. It's 8 a.m., base personnel watching for a black cat overdue. Last heard from at midnight, attacking a Jap merchant ship. But they don't watch long. Here comes the cat, and it's a zoom, a signal that she did it again. One more enemy ship on the bottom. Lee Shore now, and quiet waters. A wait for the tow line. Up the ramp, tail first. The squadron commander, wanting to know any wounded, after 14 hours of flight. Commodore Combs, commander of the task force, arrives in his jeep with Captain Peck in charge of the group. Large freighter made two bombing runs, exploded ammunition cargo. Now off to get details and new plans for the coming night's mission. And that beer which all hands look forward to, but there's one bottle left over. A Navy cameraman hit on the first run, so no pictures. But tonight's another night with a mate to take his place. As soon as the cat's home, she's groomed for the next prowl. That's a blitz buggy towing her into position for overhaul. Some job for a maintenance officer keeping an aerial antique acting like a dive bomber. The bad symptom sheet. Port propeller throwing oil. Nothing serious, but a new part is needed. These cats take plenty. Some here are nearly four years old. Now, 
Now, eight bullet holes, starboard wing. Six, seven, eight. Not so bad. Black cats have wheezed home with more than a hundred holes showing through their sides. It came out here, the shrapnel that nicked our cameraman. Such holes are penciled first, clipped, a plate board, riveted. A leak in the fuel tank plug. Gas goes in. Don't ration it. We'll be up all night and part of the next day. Last night's strain told on the tail assembly. Repaired now, wagoner tail and rare to go. But first, she needs her claws sharpened. The Black Cat's bomb dump. Quarter tonners. And this, the size Jap cruisers have a weakness for. 50 calibers, defense against Jap fighters tonight. The tail fin screwed on tight. When you swan dive through anti-aircraft, you want bombs that lay in right. Back to the cat. Patrol boats weren't made for bombing. She wears them under her wing because there's no other place. For every pound of bombs dropped last month, one ton of enemy shipping was sunk or damaged. Records like that mean plenty in any language, dollars or yen. Now a tin fish for the port wing. And the 50 caliber just in case, but we'd rather not have to use it. Darkness is the cat's best defense. Darkness and her black nightgown. But the guns are checked. And the cat stands ready, feeling her years, but as fit for combat as good wishes can make her. But first, looking for a stowaway aft. Yes, two kinds of black cats at this base. Overside you. In the meantime, the crew we're flying with in an hour is off for a spot of water polo. Coconuts to you. Now a quick look in on the officers' quarters. Our cat's masters, that's the squadron commander at the mirror. Big game hunters at night, but the housekeeping has to be done. Evening clothes, 45s, jungle knives, just in case luck runs out and you have to walk home. And the picture. Mm. Off for briefing. Final instructions. Final warnings. Six black cats will fly tonight. They're pilots and navigators. First discussion, new angles of enemy strategy. To draw more blood from US invading troops, Japan is feeding key defenses with ammunition, guns, concrete for pillboxes. Our objective, to stop them at sea, where one bomb can sink what a 100 bombing runs ashore might not destroy. Latest enemy convoy sighting, southbound, one tanker, three freighters, probably artillery and ammunition, estimated position at 0200. Watch out for Jap night fighters, nearest airstrip only 60 miles away. Any destroyer escorts? Two cans like this, five inch guns, 
Elevation for anti-aircraft barrage, two aft, one forward. Two ack ack topside, and you may have a light cruiser on your hands, one sighted yesterday in that area. The search plan for locating the convoy. Area A for the command plane. Area B. Whoever spots the convoy first will signal other planes immediately, including the two standby planes. Command plane will direct attack. On the way north, the command plane will search enemy-held Harbor X, where the convoy may have dropped anchor temporarily. Watch out for land ACAC, there's plenty. A nest of six heavies to the north. Two heavies here, four mediums south. Last topic, weather. On some nights, even more of a headache than ACAC. Storm fronts building up to the north, 30 knot headwinds to fight on the way home. Turn back early. If the night clears, don't make a target out of yourself by getting in front of the moon. Now, a half hour left for some quick chow. Command plane oversized in five minutes. Sandwich makings from home. California sardines, Chicago ham spread, orange juice from Florida to wash it down. A squall bearing down from the sea, but the cats leave per schedule. In all this base's history, foul weather has never stopped a flight. He slides in, hull settling deep under bomb-laden wings. Landing gear disengaged. Following out for the takeoff. Feeling away into the run, motors growling over the job of lifting too many men off the water. Too much gas, but she's up on the step. night, another mission, another prowl into the dark. A cat needs its nine lives on these jobs. Night and the weather kicks up. Rough enough to be airsick if you had time. Getting nearer Harbor X, where the convoy might be hiding out, whether or no weather, the cat gives up altitude to find out. Navigator to captain, Harbor X reckoned 10 miles ahead. Repeat to waste gunners. Harbor X, three miles off Port Bow. Lookout posted in the black cat's nose. The last check of the land ACAC positions ahead. The moon breaks through, silhouetting the cat. Enemy fighter planes coming up, Captain. Harbor X, dead ahead. No convoy down there. Lower for a second look. Harbor X, empty. Convoy still out at sea. Now to get out, quick. But we're spotted. Took one. Another. 
Ford Fighters hard off Port Beam. Stand by for a dive to hide. The cat flattens out. Here's where a black nightgown counts. The Japs need better glasses. Now a cautious bank to sea to resume convoy search. Convoy's original 0200 position was 50 miles, bearing five degrees. Convoy, convoy off Port Bow. Tail end of the convoy, ammunition freighter. Position signaled to five other black cats, 0420 south, 15012 east. The plane veers into the wake of the cruiser. Other cats arrive. and pounce. Press the pickle and lay an egg. A hit. And two goes in. goes in. Now the cats get out with one freighter sunk, one damaged, one tanker burning, a cruiser hit. The cost, Black Cat number five, whose ninth life went up in the smoke of the freighter she sank. One more flight completed. One less convoy flying the rising sun. Another loss in losses adding up to billions of dollars in equipment that didn't get there. A job done by planes that can't maneuver, but do. That can't dive, that can't rev up speed to wiggle out of a run, but go in anyway for a second try, a third. What keeps them going? This, among other things, these are American troops grabbing at a beach. A beach guarded by pillboxes and machine guns, by Jap cannon, mortars, grenades. These things don't grow there. They come in ships that can be sunk. And every less ship gives the men who are landing a better break. That's what keeps the cats flying.